So we've learned a lot about different variable types and where to use them. And here I have a code example of, you know, setting up ints, floats, doing this complicated uh, casting, uh, which can sometimes be complicated. Um, in this case, we were able to figure it out. Uh, but what modern C++, so C++11, allows us to do is just use the word auto to say we want a variable, we want to name it B, C, and A, but I want the compiler to deduce what the type is. So let's try this example here. Let's try to run it without any casting, and compile, oh, so it's going to actually give us an error, it says warning auto type specifier is a C++ extension. But we can actually fix this. So in our compile command, we're going to add let's, another compiler flag that says the standard that we want to use is C++11, it's lowercase C++11, and then try to run. And no errors. So if we run the program, we get the value 1. Well, let's take a look at our program again and see what happened. So it found 6 and 4, and it deduced that we want to do integer division here. So auto got us most of the way there, but not quite all the way. What if we try changing this to float? wq to write, try to compile again, and run. Hmm, still 1. Okay, so auto we thought might be a cheat, but we can't avoid uh, casting. Let's instead try to make this auto, and then do the cast that says we're doing floating point division. Okay, so here we are, 1.5. Okay, great. So what happened here? So in the case of line 7, the compiler was able to deduce if we're dividing a float by a float, this type must be a float to store the result. In this case, in line 5 and 6, it looked directly and saw, okay, we have a 6 here and a 4. But what if we change these types around a little bit? So I'm going to make this auto again. And again, let's make one of these uh, a floating point value and see if that's enough for C++ to deduce the types and give us a 1.5. Okay. Compile. Run. 1.5. Okay, so this time it worked. Why did it work? Well, it figured this is a 6.0, so this is a float divided by some integer, and we probably want a float back. So auto is not perfect, but it might help us. In cases where auto is useful is to improve readability, or if we have a more difficult type, uh, we can use auto to help, uh, help us solve what the type is. Um, there's also decal type as a keyword, and what we can do here is say, um, I'm going to change the program up a little bit and say B is a float, A we know we want to store the float, uh, B is 6.0, and C, well, I don't know yet, but whatever type B is, the decal type of B, that's what I want to cast C to. Okay, let's try to run this. Compiles, runs, we get 1.5. Take one more look at it. So float B and C is, well, the compiler might deduce that C is in fact an integer from 4, but that's okay because we're going to cast the value C to whatever type we've specified B to be. Decal type, we could uh, instead replace this line with float, and that would be equivalent. Right? So float and decal type are equivalent uh, in this particular case, because we've said uh, whatever type B was declared as, that's what we're casting C to. Okay, so a little bit with type uh, mixing and matching, and it takes some practice to get used to. But with enough practice, um, you'll be able to master how you want to represent your data.